Hi everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to our August webinar, Move to Digital Document Storage and Paperless Processes with Easy to Use Cloud Document Management Software. My name is, my name is Nicole Schmeida, Marketing Specialist here at DocuWare, and I'll be moderating the session today. The webinar will be presented by John Keenan, Senior Sales Director at DocuWare. Before we begin, I wanna let you know that the webinar is being recorded and I'll email it to you by tomorrow morning along with the slides and the other relevant assets. And in the handout section of your GoToWebinar panel, there are three handouts for you to download right now. First one is a product brochure. The next one is a mobile workforce ebook. And the last one is a case study where you can read about how a construction company implemented Docuer Cloud to strengthen their data retention, secure their information, and enable their project managers to approve documents while at different job sites. As you can see on the right side, today's agenda, the first few minutes, John will introduce DocuWare Cloud and how this solution solves your challenges today. You, you know, you might have workers going back into the office and you have remote workers, so how do you keep those workers in sync? And then he'll go right into a live demo and at the end, we'll open it up for Q&A. We're scheduled for 30 minutes, but if there's a lot more questions, we might go a little bit longer, but of course, you'll receive an email from me tomorrow morning. Thank you again for joining us, and I'll pass it off to John. Thanks, Nicole, I really appreciate it. And thank you everyone for joining. Um, it's an interesting time that we find ourselves in and a very opportune time to be talking about DocuWare Cloud, because at the end of the day, where we find our customers really interested right now is remote access, uh, as well as the security around remote access. And then finally, the, the ability to keep business processes moving uh, in what we find uh, a less structured workforce. Uh, we find ourselves in a new normal. Six months ago, five months ago, the majority of our workforce was actually at the office. Uh, right now, the majority of our workforce is probably not at the office or transitioning back to the office. Uh, and, and some of the assumptions that were made six months ago are not holding up. Uh, and the biggest, the biggest assumption was that your current IT stack could stand up to trying to run your business from a remote environment, which is why we're having the conversation about DocuWare Cloud. There are some questions that have come up in the new normal. Uh, and they're really important to visit. Probably the most important one uh, is how do, how do I escape the slowness of, of the VPN? Um, I've been selling DocuWare for over five years and, and this is an objection that I was unable to overcome many, many times in my sales career, right? The, the decision makers would, would be saying, I don't need DocuWare or a document management system because I can access my share drive using a VPN. Unfortunately, now that we're forced into that type of remote, this type of remote environment, many, many people are, are identifying the, the uh, or questioning the, the logic of that, that strategy because it's really not working out. Uh, and the other huge question that people are asking is, how do I rem remote in while maintaining the security re requirements around whatever my use case or industry is, right? Am I maintaining? regulatory compliance, am I exposed? Uh, but at the end of the day, the overwhelming question that we are getting over and over again is, how do I access my doc documents and how do I keep my business moving when I have half of my workflow at home, the other half uh, uh, at the office, and it seems to be a transitioning or moving target every single day. The good news is DocuWare Cloud enables your organization to thrive regardless of where everybody is, right? What we're offering is a cloud interface, a remote interface. It can be, uh, you can interface documents and with your documents or data either through a computer or our mobile application to keep your business moving, right? It's got some features that are perfect in our current environment. Number one, it's browser-based, probably most important. The other thing, it's very simple to get documents into DocuWare, and more importantly, it's really simple to find documents and data once it's in there. I'll share a scary statistic with you. Uh, uh, studies indicate that we spend 30 to 50% of our time searching for stuff, and those studies were done pre-COVID. Imagine the, the wasted time 
trying to find data to keep whatever your job description is moving in the right direction. To you decision makers out there, that means at best, your employees are only being effective uh, 50 to 70% of the time. So you're losing half a work day, right? DocuWare Cloud can help you with that, whether you're accessing on a computer or through an, a mobile application, right? But it's way beyond access. It's the ability to keep those mission critical business processes moving, right? Through workflows. It's the ability to route an invoice through an appro approval process. It's the ability to route a resume through some type of hiring decision process. It's imperative to route a sales order through a sales order process. And it's really imperative to be able to do it in a remote world. Right? Many of your employees don't have access to the paper or the digital documents that are in the share drive anymore. And that's where DocuWare Cloud can actually step in. So I'm going to jump in and give you an idea of, of the DocuWare system. We find the best way of showing DocuWare Cloud is actually in a live environment. Uh, again, it's, it's a web-based system. So you can access from anywhere in the world. And we are voted by consultants year in and year out as, as the easiest from a user perspective, best ease of use. And this is really important because when you're evaluating a platform, if it's not simple to use, even for non-technical users, you'll never get the adoption that you require. So you'll never meet your return on investment objectives. So it's really, really, uh, important that that this be a simple product and the good news is it really is so let's navigate around the user interface on the right hand side I have a document viewer this is where I'll work with view and work with my documents on the left hand side we have set up our, our baskets right these are analogous to the trays or baskets the, the plastic baskets that you might have on your desktop with one really important difference you can access them re remotely and they're shareable. So if you have multiple people that need to access the baskets from the same organization, you can certainly do that, okay? And then moving on, a couple of very simple tabs up top. If I wanna find a document in DocuWare, I go to my search or my list tab, and then tasks are workflow tasks. And again, I stress when you think of workflow, just think of passing what used to be a piece of paper from one person to another, right? I need you to take a look at this and, and sign it. I need an approval. I need a review. Whatever your workflows require, this workflow engine can be configured to match it perfectly. Right? So one of the first concerns with anyone considering a document management system is how flexible is that system in onboarding documents or, or actually getting documents into the system? And the answer is we offer you total flexibility when it comes to that. Right, So you can go to virtually any desktop scanner or multi-function device, and you can scan in the documents that are in paper format. Right? If you're using a shared drive or some type of file folder tree structure and want to bring documents into DocuWare, you can do that by simply choosing to import. And what I'm doing is simply grabbing a document through an import process and bringing it in that way. Uh, if I, I'm going to switch to a different basket. If I want to drag and drop, I can simply drag and drop into a tray or a basket. If I can print the document, I can easily print it into DocuWare. So I'm opening a PDF, and if I decide to print this, you'll notice the print configuration is a DocuWare printer, which gives the user choices. The first choice is to store it into DocuWare, which I'm doing right now. The second choice would be to share it as an email attachment, and the third choice would be to just print it to whatever printer or, or hardware device that we're currently using. I would be remiss if I didn't bring up our mobile capabilities. You can scan documents into the system by using our, our free mobile application called PaperScan, right? PaperScan simply allows you to take a picture of a document. DocuWare will simply uh, um, crop it automatically, right? And then it can be uploaded or imported into DocuWare. And then finally, you can bring in documents into DocuWare by, oh, I just opened the wrong user. You can bring documents into DocuWare by using the DocuWare eForm capabilities. To show you this, what I'm doing is logging into an eForm and it's essentially an employee onboarding form. 
right? So the use case is this, when you hire a new employee, the first day that employee spends the better part of the, the morning filling in that stack of paperwork, right? And on every single form is last name, first name, birth date, social security number. Next form, last name, first name, birth date, social security number. Well, we can ingest documents really quickly by providing that applicant with an e-form to collect all that data one time. So in this example, when I grab this data, all of the information is going to be put on an I-9 form, a W-4 form, and an emergency contact form and stored directly, not into the basket, but in this case, directly, directly into the file cabinet, right? So in this fictitious example, my applicant's first name is Peter. His last name is Strom. His social security number doesn't matter, right? Notice anything with an asterisk is required. This is powerful. HR people will tell you that in their entire career, that stack of pa paperwork has never been entirely filled out. Well, this eliminates all of that repetitive uh, 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 chasing down of information. And finally, you'll notice we are signature capable, right? Now, this is an internal signature. If you required a validated signature, we can very easily integrate with platforms like DocuSign and Validated ID. So back to the e-form. Again, when I submit this or when the applicant submits this, all of this data is going to be put on a W-4, an I-9, and an emergency contact form. To show you we're doing this live, let's simply go into DocuWare and search the HR file cabinet, right? And I'll just simply do a search based on the last name of this employee. His last name is Strom. And you'll notice the only thing in DocuWare is an email that was associated with an onboarding process. But if the applicant now submits this e-form, all of those additional documents are stored in real time in the DocuWare file cabinet, and all I have to do is refresh my search, and here they are. Here's the emergency contact form with all the data that the applicant put in. Now we showed you three examples, but you're not limited to those examples. It's whatever your forms or paperwork requirements might be. Okay, so now that we have documents in DocuWare, what we like to say is if you can do it with paper, you can do it with DocuWare. What do I mean by that? Well, let me just open up this document and let's say we need to write notes on the document. We can do that. We simply write notes on that document. So what I'm describing is full annotation capabilities. Right? I can highlight data on a document. I can point out important text on a document with an arrow. Um, I can highlight full paragraphs if I wanted to do that. And finally, if you have sensitive information, you can redact on the fly. Now it's important to note that I am not editing this document. I'm writing notes on top of it, by the way, stamp, you can stamp a document also, okay? Again, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not changing the document, I'm simply writing notes on top of the document with the correct permissions, and I'm logged in with administrative rights, I can actually turn these notes on and off. At the end of the day, most of your users will not have this capability. It does open the, the door to sit, make a, a quick comment on security, right? It's important to, to mention that we play in every industry, including medicine, and we meet or exceed the security certification requirements by industry, including HIPAA. Now, no software platform is, is out of the box uh, HIPAA compliant, but can be configured to be so, and that's where DocuWare falls in, okay? So that's the user interface, and that's how simple it is to onboard and work with documents. Now, the, the really important question is, how do I find the stuff that I store? Well, in order to understand that, you need to understand the fact that when we store a document, we're going to tag it with search terms. So when I just search for the, the documents associated with that applicant, I did a last name search, right? But the searches are set up any way that you want. Here's an HR search uh, dialogue, and I can search by last name, I can search by first name, date of birth, whatever is important to you as an organization. If we look in accounting, we search differently, right? We search on company name, document type, invoice number, date, amount. It's entirely up to you. But it's important to note that you don't have to fill in all of this data. 
right? All you have to do is rely on Docuware to fill in the data for you, and we use a process called intelligent indexing. Intelligent indexing is basically running artificial intelligence under the covers, which will learn your documents. So if something is color-coded green, it means that the document has been learned and the indexes are accurate. Something color-coded yellow or red, it means you have to do a brief review. Let me show you. If I want to get these documents stored, I simply choose where to store them and intelligent indexing does the rest. Remember the, the rapid transport invoice was color-coded green, so you'll notice it's already been taught where all the indexes are. Now you might be wondering, where are the indexes coming from? Well, in most cases, we simply grab the information from the document itself. So under gross amount, second from the bottom on the left, you'll notice highlighted on the document is where that information is coming from. And as soon as I store that information, I can now search on any of those search terms, right? The second one was color-coded yellow. Guess what? I have a little bit of work to do. I just simply have to teach intelligent indexing where the data can be found. I'm, I'm being told to look for the company name. If I highlight it, DocuWare will populate it for you. I have a yellow bar next to the document number. I just need to confirm that it's accurate. And once I'm done and decide to store this document, chances are the next time that comes through, it will be color coded as green. Now that it's stored though, these documents are really easy to find because remember, now we can search on any of these search terms. So I can do a company name uh, search. I can add a document type to it, maybe a company name and an invoice, a, a specific invoice number to go directly to that document. Or in this particular case, I've stored two documents today, so I'm just going to search on my store date, and lo and behold, here are, two, here are the two invoices that have been stored. Now, many people have told me that this is identical to searching like Google. And the answer is, yeah, it sure, it sure is. It's just like Google. At the end of the day, if I Google Pizza Places, I get millions of hits. Pizza Places Boston, I get 10,000. Pizza Places Boston on Commonwealth Avenue, I get four. Doesn't that look similar if I go back and do an index search? You just get more granular when you're searching for things. But folks, we can make it even easier because we have our list area, which can be effectively set up as your favorites, right? So when you do a search, and I'll do this search again, okay, if I wanna call this a favorite search, I just save it into my list area, and I'll call this um, today, right? Because this is all the documents that were stored today. And then when I go to my list area, you'll notice that here's my today search. But there are other things, right? Let's say I work in the, uh, the uh, contracts department and I'm always looking up those active contracts. I don't have to search for it every time. I simply click on my active contracts. I can go back to my list and then go to today. And it brings me back to the search that I did earlier and you'll notice I can click between the two searches. Really easy to find. My hope for you today is you're now envisioning that that 30 to 50% of our time, which is wasted, is turned into several, you know, six second searches, five second searches, you know, almost real time, you can get to the data that you're looking for to keep your job moving in the right direction. But we make it even better because we allow you to actually search from other applications. You can search from email, you can search from Outlook, you can search from other line of business applications. Uh, in this particular case, let's say I wanna go to my active contracts, which I just searched for. Well, you'll notice I have my active contracts button or the list button embedded into Outlook. I simply clicked on it and now I can open any of my active contracts without ever leaving Outlook, right? What about other line of business applications? I just opened a, uh, an accounting platform. Let's say I'm looking at an expenditure and I want to see the invoice associated with that expenditure. All I would have to do is simply click the invoice button because this button is not part of this accounting platform. This is a DocuWare button. And I've configured this invoice button to read the invoice number and simply execute the index search within DocuWare. So now the user doesn't have to know anything about DocuWare. All they have to know is that 
when I, I'm here, if I hit the button, I get the invoice and you'll see how quickly that invoice was fetched or retrieved from the DocuWare system. All right. So we're covering, covering a lot of ground in a very little period of time. But to recap, the user interface is really simple, right? We offer total flexibility on getting documents into the system. And by the way, the one thing that I did skip is you can actually, DocuWare can monitor inboxes within Outlook, right? So let's say you're getting your invoices sent to a specific inbox, ap at xyz.com, DocuWare can monitor it, or you can simply do it manually, and that's what I'm demonstrating here. Okay. So the assumption at this point is that you have your you have your documents under control, but now what's the other concern in the remote world that we find ourselves? Well, the concern is to keep our business processes working, and that's where workflow comes in. So just a few minutes ago, I stored a couple of invoices. I don't know if anybody out there recognized that when I did that tasks appeared in my task tab and they appeared because by storing the invoice the way I did it kicked off a workflow and the workflow is to get those invoices processed for approval so we we don't have to pay any of those late payments or maybe we want to take advantage of early pay discounts right so there's a couple of different activities the first one is says assign it to a cost center manager and the second one says pay invoice right let's go to the pay invoice first so let's open it up and that's the rapid transport that we stored earlier why would it say pay invoice well in this case it says pay invoice because docuware searched when it was stored docuware searched for an associated purchase order right the amounts matched so there was no approval to be made and the invoice just needs to be paid what does that say to you is docuware is intelligent it can be configured to match whatever your process is in this case, we did a two or three way match. So all we have to do is simply confirm and that one step workflow is done. The other says assign cost center, right? Very easy to do also. Let's say as the accounting person, I know that this storage experts invoice needs to be sent to the manufacturing manager for approval. And that's exactly what I just did. So if I log in as the manufacturing manager, we can see that a couple of things happened in his world. The first thing that happened in, in, in his world is he received an email notification letting him know that he had a task to perform. And here it is, right? It says, dear colleague, a new invoice is open from storage experts. Please process as quickly as possible, right? Notice his choices. He can click on this link to take him into DocuWare to do the approval. He can click on this second link to go to his task list or remember the mobile application. He can open his smartphone or tablet using the DocuWare mobile application and perform any, any workflow task from anywhere in the world. Right? In this particular case, for brevity, I'm just going to take him into his task list and there should only be one task. And it simply says check invoice. And when he does that, it simply gets routed back to accounting. Right, so I just routed a couple of invoices around the organization, but again, it's not limited to invoices. It could be sales order processing. It could be it could be hiring in HR, provisioning in HR. It's whatever your needs in accounting. Back in accounting, it could be accounts receivable instead of accounts payable. All right, so I covered a lot of ground. I want to pass it back to Nicole um, for the next couple of slides. Back. Yes, thanks, John. I actually had a, one question when you were showing the um, email integration. You showed that you could search for the documents while you're in email, but can you also store emails and attachments into DocuWare? Yeah, and I apologize. I did. I did loop back to that um, while I was talking about uh, uh, that. So let's let's go back into email. So at the at the end of the day, what you can do is easily store documents into DocuWare. Right, so we give you a number of choices. So in, in this particular case, if I want to store this email, I would simply click on the, the, the store and it would copy the email directly into DocuWare. And again, I've already demonstrated the fact that we can search for documents. That's on a one-off basis. If I want to store uh, emails individually, the other way again is we could actually monitor specific folders within any email system. And then on a schedule determined by our customer, simply 
simply Im, uh, import any of the emails that were required for that use case. All right, thanks, Sean. Yep, thanks for that demo. I just want to remind everyone um, the demo that you saw today was introductory. So you saw, um, you know, a short workflow example. But we just, as you can see on the screen now, like we can make Docker work for any key business process that you need. You know, a lot of companies use it for logistics, manufacturing, purchasing, sales order processing. Um, in addition to invoice processing and employee management. So whatever you need, we can build it. You can build it in Docuware and we can help you get your work done. And if we head to the next slide, I also want to highlight, as John mentioned earlier, that we have a lot of software user reviews where we've won awards. And we just wanted to mention that if you head to G2 Crowd or Captair, you can actually read about actual users' experiences using Docuware and how it's helped them solve their organizational challenges. And I'll also include a link to these in the email I'll send out tomorrow morning as well. I just wanted to highlight that if you wanted to check out those reviews for yourself. And in the handout section, I noted there was a case study you can download. And I just wanted to highlight a quote from the president of On Point Custom Homes. This is a customs home building construction company. So before they implemented Docker Cloud, they were reliant on a lot of paperwork, but they had a lot of project managers, you know, on site. So they said, you know, once they rolled out Docker Cloud, project managers were able to take care of their work you know, on time instead of waiting at the end of the day to go back to the office and then stay an additional like, you know, two or three hours to go through paperwork. They can get work done wherever they are with any device that they have. And there's actually one, um, he had one anecdote saying he had one project manager who liked to do some work while he was at home. So, you know, he wrapped up dinner with his family and then he was able to log on from home, you know, with his computer and was able to you know, put in an hour or two, depending on what he needed, because he was able to access Docker from anywhere. And with that, we'll wrap it up. So again, we want to continue the conversation with you all. We want to hear your comments. Um, we're interested in your questions. So if you want to reach out to us anytime, you can email us at contact.us.docuware.com. If you want to jump in and get a more personalized demo specific to your business needs, you can request a personalized demo using the URL on the screen there. You can head to our website, docker.com. Or if you're already working with an authorized Docker partner, definitely reach out to them to get more information and how you can start implementing Docker, whether it's just one process, one department, and then you can expand from there. So we're, we definitely want you, we definitely want to solve those challenges for everyone. So let's see. With that, we'll open up for questions right now. The first question is, what is the accuracy of the intelligent indexing on the documents? Our experience says that you're going to have to train or teach anywhere between four and 6% of your invoices. Uh, essentially, it, it takes generally two or three passes for the indexes to be learned, uh, and then you're indexing after that by exception. So it's typically new vendors. And by the way, those new vendors can be put through some type of new vendor workflow where, where a W-9 is, is sent out and that type of thing. And then vendors that change the look and feel of their invoice to the point that, that we have to re-index it. Got it. Um, next question is, from an IT perspective, how do you control who has ac access to what documents, and is there two-factor authent authentication capabilities? So let me ask, answer the second half. The second half is, is yes, uh, multi-factor authentication. Uh, we, can, we can set up the system to uh, articulate with your single sign-on. Uh, at Docu, where we currently use 365, uh, so we can sign in using using the 365, but you can use other si single sign-on. Uh, and then on the security side, it's all about setting up uh, rights and permissions, right? So, so at the end of the day, we could take every single one of your documents and place them in a single electronic file cabinet. Uh, and then if Nicole wanted to access one of those documents, we can limit access. To, let's say there was a million documents in there. 
we could limit access to Nicole to every everything but one, right? So we can we can limit access by by username. We can limit access by document type. We can access uh, limit access by by um, uh, uh, roles, uh, permissions, or or user groups. Mm -hmm. Typically, we're going to tie the entire thing into your Active Directory. Uh, so the good news is if you ever exit somebody from DocuWare or from your organization, as soon as you exit them from Active Directory, they will no longer have any access to the system. Yep, definitely. Next question is, how does DocuWare work with Macs? We are an all Apple computer company. And the second part of their question was, we are based in Europe. Um, do you have cloud servers in Europe because of GDPR protection laws? Yeah, great, great question, and, and the answer is yes. We do have uh, we do have data centers in in Europe, and and that's what we would uh, have applied to you just for the GDPR compliance issues. As to the Mac question, remember we're a web-based product, so you can absolutely access uh, your your documents using a Mac. Um, but running under the covers is is our um, desktop applications, which would limit some of the feature functionality. For instance, the ability to embed one of those search buttons would require a desktop app, which does run on Windows. Got it. We have just a few more questions. Just to remind everyone, I will be emailing out the recording, slides, and other assets by tomorrow morning. Next question is, how could we utilize this in the healthcare industry? Back office, right? We are, we are not an EMR, and we don't want to be an EMR. Uh, we tend to be a horizontal solution. So regardless of industry, whether it be medical, uh, healthcare, or, or manufacturing, um, we typically play departmentally in, in uh, use cases around accounting, uh, use cases around human resources, sales order processing, contracts management, um, all of them that, that typically uh, cross from industry or vertical to vertical. Got it. Next question is, does Docuware integrate with Sage ERP? Well, I showed you those those Smart Connect buttons, right? So, so that we can very, very confidently say that we can embed those buttons into Sage. We do it every day, right? Um, we can also say that at the end of a workflow, I showed you a, a very brief uh, invoice routing workflow. At the end of the workflow, what I didn't share with you is the fact that all of the data associated with that workflow was was put in a CSV file that then could be imported into Sage. Uh, and, and I can confidently say that Sage can do that. And then the last thing is, is if it requires a, a coded integration, we know what Sage's APIs are, um, but full disclosure, 99% of the in integrations we do, we do with our Smart Connect buttons. Got it. All right, we just have two more questions and then we'll wrap it up. Um, we have one question asking, do you have clients in Canada? How would you handle HST for Canadian invoices? We do. In fact, I personally handle Canada, uh, <laughs> uh, but I don't know what the acronym HST means. Okay. I, that, I'm, uh, yeah. Yeah. Michael, if you could email us at contact.us.com, we can uh, get that answer for you. Last question actually is... I probably could answer it. Maybe, Mike, uh, John, you could answer it as well. Someone is asking, do you have training classes and certifications for those who want a deeper dive? Um, I'm guessing this is from a current user. We do have customer trainings available. I can pass our training director's information to you, so you can definitely get more, um, you know, drill down into what you need uh, training on. So. Yeah, and I would just I would just add to that. Uh, it's it's actually a very good question because most organizations will start with a specific use case, whether it be accounting or HR, and then will often scale from there. Uh, and up front, there might be some concern about you having to continually come back to either DocuWare or one of our resellers to build out those workflows to make those departments as efficient as, as possible. Well, that lends to, to Nicole's answer in the fact that we would recommend that you let us build out the first several for you. But after that, if you're planning on scaling, and you can, if you wanted to use DocuWare, 
across your entire enter enterprise, you, you can, we would absolutely recommend that you had somebody sent to a couple of day training class to be trained up on building the workflows yourself. Yep, definitely. So with that, we'll end it. If we didn't get to your question or you come up with some other questions or thoughts later on, maybe you want to review with your team, definitely email us anytime with your thoughts questions, comments, we want to hear from you. Um, so yeah, you can email us at contact at us at docuer.com. And that should be it. So thank you, John, for the demo. Thank you, everyone, right. for your time today. And look out for the emails from us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Take care.